Howdy y'all, what's up? Primal here, and welcome to my 2023 end of the year recap. Well, one of them at least. Uh, so I've decided to do my recap this year in two parts. Um, the first would be my normal routine where I just recap my channel and everything I did with it, like all the games I played and everything. And the other one, well, I decided to make it a little bit more personal, like just include all the stuff, you know, that's been happening with me personally and like what's been going on in my life this year. Um, I did so last year, but it was like in the same video, but this year I decided to maybe like keep them and keep them separate and I kind of owe you all an explanation like what's been going on with me and since I haven't really talked to y'all like this in a while and really like done any vlogs or anything like that, I just decided maybe this would be the best course of action, best direction to go in. <clears throat> I apologize if I'm clearing my throat a lot. My allergies are just, they haven't always been the best and they're always, you know, at their peak this time of year for me. So yeah, my allergies still has yet to fully kick in, but hopefully at some point it will and I won't really be doing, I won't like be clearing my throat a whole lot as I progress through this. Um, what else? Hang on a sec. Okay, guys, sorry, I, I kind of lost my train of thought, um, plus, like, there's something going on outside. I think it's the trash people outside my place. So, yeah, with all, that all said and done, let's get right into it, shall we? Let's let's start from the very beginning. Always a good place to start. I'll, I'll try and go month by month to try and keep everything organized for y'all. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, first thing that happened to me this year, after I got back from my parents' place last Christmas, because, like, I was still in the period between my days off, and plus we still had we we had a bit of extra time because it was we were transitioning. Yeah, we had some extra time because it was New Year's, fortunately. So I didn't really, I got to go in a little bit later than I normally did. It was, I just had to work a couple days that week. So, yeah, on one of those days I was initially going back. On one of those couple days I, I had to go in that week, like the last one, on the fourth. Um, I woke up, got ready to go to work. I go outside and I realize my car is missing. Call the police, believing it's stolen. Um, according to them, it was towed. Apparently, the parking lot enforcers or whoever works at the apartment who takes care of that um, didn't really see my initial permit sticker, and they took it. Fortunately, within the next couple of days, I was able to actually get it back, and I, it didn't cost me anything. Kind of scuffed up my car a little bit, and I've been trying to get that taken care of. It's kind of been an arduous prog arduous process for me to do so, but <clears throat> hoping. I'm finally able to, like when the new year starts. So yeah, throughout January, it was just business as usual. I did also see a couple of my friends, like one of them namely was Dennis, someone who I went to church with and I was able to re reconnect and reunite with when I got back like a couple months, like after I moved back. Like I saw him initially in December and I was able to see him a couple more times like in January the first of which was like when we had lunch together at his place not necessarily where he lives but like where he works at the complex he works at in the Apple area the Apple complex he works at here in the city so <clears throat> yeah we had lunch together we talked a bit got to hang out before he had to go in um yeah we also there were a couple things like we discussed, like I talked to him about like this anime convention I'd always go to at the end of the year before I had to move away, before everything happened in 2020, Um I told him I'd try and go this year and I was fortunately able to and I tried, I told him I'd try and bring him back a souvenir. So yeah, I went to IkiCon later in January, um, reconnected with my friend Marissa, also known as Azu. Um, I also got to meet her husband in person for the first time. It's like, all I ever knew about him was like from Instagram or Snapchat. And <clears throat> yeah, it was just my usual routine. Just looked around, met some awesome cosplayers, took pictures of them when permitted. And um, yeah, of course, I also brought Dennis back a souvenir like I said I would. I got him a large statuette of Zelda from Breath of the Wild. And I gave it to him next time we met. Like we had breakfast together at Kirby Lane like a week or so later. Um, he at the same time felt like it, it'd be best if like when if I did something like that for him he should like do something like that for me of equal value he didn't really have to I mean I just wanted to give him something I just wanted to do something like that for him just give him something but 
I appreciate the thought nonetheless. So, yeah, I gave him the Zelda statuette, and he gave me a figurine or statuette of Alatrian or Alatrian from Monster Hunter. And he also gave me a Palico plushie. Apparently there's like this Japanese bookstore in town um, that he got them at, and I discovered them like later in May. <clears throat> so yeah, we had breakfast together, and my new buddy Titus was also there. Um, we just decided to, you know, try and get together, have like a group hangout of sorts if possible. Um, yeah, uh, Titus was one of the first person, one of the first people I reconnected or reunited with when, well, I, I'd say reconnected with, because like, I knew him way back, well, I kind of knew of him way back when, when we went to church camp together, we, um, yeah, it was like, was early, June of 2016, we went to boot camp together, I don't believe we actually interacted or socialized with each other, but yeah, um, like a year or so later after I moved, um, I, we bumped it into each other on Instagram and we kind of like, since we kind of like knew of each other as well as a couple other people who are from his church, we just, you know, connected more on there and then we talked a little bit and when I came back, he was one of the first people I was able to reconnect or meet in person for the first time and started from scratch and we just... <clears throat> It took a little bit, but yeah, throughout this year, he's actually become one of my closest and best friends. So, yeah, we all had breakfast together at Kirby Lane, and then between January and February, the big freeze hit, and it was like the first one of those I went through. It was my power was intermittent for the first couple of days, like, I woke up without power, but then it came back on, like, halfway through the day, and then it was the same for the second day, only came back on a little later. I thought I was prepared, but apparently not as so much because, like, I didn't really have all that time because it hit unexpectedly and my work was trying to get us all to come in, which sucked. I was like, screw that. No, I'm not getting out on those icy roads. You can't force me. And then February was just kind of dull for the most part. Um, it was just business as usual, working, but then, I mean, of course, <clears throat> I also started, you know, trying to get out more and, you know, be a part of the life groups at the church I used to go to, which was at the college I used to go to. Like, I went to, I went to a church where, which was located where I, where I also went to school, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, I started trying to be a part of the life groups when I could, because, like, things were getting really dull. It's like, there's, like, so much happening with my friends. I mean, I wouldn't say a whole lot, but it's, like, really hard to, you know, talk to them or hear back from when I tried to reach out so I was just like things were just kind of getting depressing because like I couldn't really socialize with anyone so I decided to go to those <clears throat> to have like some interaction and yeah but and yeah February was just business as usual with work things were just kind of dull and yeah but March is where things really went south because like that's when I lost my job and it wasn't really an actual layoff or anything like that. It's just some things just happened between me and my coworkers. Like they weren't really the nicest lot, to be honest. And I tried talking to people about it there, but they wouldn't really do anything about it. And there was a bit, my higher ups were just like, "Oh, they're just messing around with you. Don't take it all that seriously." But it kept happening, and I kept <clears throat> trying to do, trying to get things taken care of, but no one would really do anything. And then. It just all came to a point, and it just led to me having to be terminated from there, so it really sucked. I mean, a couple things about, yeah, it's like, some of them stem from, like, how they were treating me, others from, like, from the fact that they were blaring their music so loud I couldn't even listen to mine while I was trying to tune out and just do my job there. I mean, it was good pay, it was a... I had grown comfortable with, like, the environment and, I guess, the work hours, but, yeah, the people were just not all that tolerable. And Like I said, a lot of the issues stemmed from, like, how they were treating me sometimes, or them, like, having their music way too loud and the fact that no one would really do anything. Like, I even tried asking them to turn it down, but they wouldn't really do so or they would do so for just a little bit then turn it all the way back up and then I would you know try and turn it down myself and that kind of caused some problems and 
yeah. But we're past it, and I actually do have a new job now, a better one. I mean, not doesn't pay entirely as much, but the environment's good. The people are really nice. I enjoy where I'm at. And because of them, I'm able to get my life going. But yeah, through March, it was just rough, because like, as soon as I lost it, I got right on the horse and started looking for a new one. Um, thanks to my buddy Gavin, I was able to get on for a little bit at his pool company, but I mean, it was only for like a couple days, because like, so yeah, because of him, I was able to fortunately find another one quickly. I guess because of my efforts, I was able to find a new one quickly, but the first couple I tried with, namely the pool company and the Chick-fil-A, they just let me go after a couple days, believing I wouldn't be that good of a fit. <clears throat> so it's like... I'd be without a job for two weeks, and then I'd get back on for a little bit, then I'd be without, and it'd take another, like, two weeks or so, but... Fortunately, I was able to finally find something stable enough, like... Or just, uh, I was able to get on, like, a, a Raising Cane's in my neighborhood, and... I helped a little bit, but then... Yeah, I just realized with that, with the hours they were giving me, I probably wasn't going to make it with that on my own, so... <clears throat> I had to find something else, and then... I looked around and I saw that one of the grocery stores was in my area was having a hiring fair, so I went to that and it took it took a lot, like about a month or so for me to fully get on fully get on, but I was able to and I still stuck with a fast food restaurant for like a month or so just to make sure nothing happened with this one. Just but everything's been going good with it. I enjoy where I'm working and because of them, I I was able to get my life back together. Yeah, March was rough just, you know, looking for a new job. And I did hang out with a couple of my friends like Cameron and Dennis. Maybe one more time we ate we ate out together at Chewy's. We just did what we could to, you know, try and hang out and socialize. It's just like, I get they're busy, but sometimes I just wish it didn't, you know, take so much effort. Because, like, when I came back, I thought, you know, given that we all had our own lives and independence now to some degree, I feel like they're... Might be some point or a day or so where we could, you know, try and do stuff more and socialize and hang out. Because it's just like the way we were talking with each other, it, it just seemed that way. And I guess maybe having that expectation just set me up big time. And yeah. April was all right. Uh, of course, like I said, I was working at the fast food chain for a little bit, but it kept me going and it kept me fairly stable at least. I was able to, I didn't really do much with myself. Um, I did, like, reconnect with the organization I used to be a part of, e for youth I was able to go up and be a part of their meetings in person and meet some people that I met online initially in person. And, like, Ash, uh, amazing artist, and her buddy Sam, and we actually grew close to, together and became good friends, me and him. He's a really cool guy, and... Yeah, we hung out a little bit later, like outside of E4 later this year, but more on that later. Um, so, and of course, there was also this girl I met way back when I, when I started trying to be a part of it in 2021 online. Her name's Laura, and she is the most, she is just drop dead gorgeous, I will tell you that. Um, we had dinner together, and then like she took me over to her church, and it was an interesting experience to say the least. Um, of course, religion is indeed a part of my life, and I try to make sure it's a major part of my life. Yeah, hers was, in, like I said, it was very peculiar to say the least. It's like there's a whole bunch of people praying out loud over each other and saying amen every two seconds, and they were like all doing so around the Bible. It just felt very, I, I hesitate to use the term cult like because, like, I don't want to, I, I don't believe it necessarily. It would, but it, it's the way it was set up. Just made it felt like, made it feel that way, and it just I wasn't not all that comfortable with it, and so yeah, I just yeah, not long after I just you know distanced myself from that. So and yeah, so April I was just you know doing stuff with E four for a little bit, and of course working at the fast food chain. You know, didn't really see too many of my friends. It's like I was just, you know, trying to hold myself together. Just it didn't feel like I was in a position to. <clears throat> of course, between you know, the period of February up until like, I lost my job, me and Tyler like 
having breakfast at Kirby Lane together a couple every couple of weeks. It was a nice time because like he's a really cool guy. He's a huge cinema enthusiast and he's big on things like Marvel and all the big movies. And then yeah, towards the end, that's when I was able to start. You know, I, I, that's when I went to the hiring fair and throughout the couple of weeks, I was able to get on at that grocery store. And <clears throat> yeah, at the same time, an old uh, an old high school friend of mine, Brian, um, yeah, he kind of hit me up asking me if he could stay with me for a bit because like he was going through some tough times because like his wife just kicked him out after they split up and he was just like looking for a place to stay until he, he got on with his trucker job he wanted to do. I thought that was fair. I thought maybe we could. I thought maybe we could try and benefit each other. So I, I decided to go ahead with that. But it wasn't really easy at the time because like I only saw him in the night. Cause like he'd get up, he'd wait for wherever he was working at right now, like one of the uh, auto body shops, like O'Reilly's or something like that. And so, yeah. But then he'd come home, and of course, you know, he wouldn't. I guess. With what's going on with him, like, he was always, you know, talking about his issues in a very aggressive manner. And sometimes he even wrote me into, like, some of the conversations he, he and his girlfriend and his ex-wife were having together. And it, it, it was just not the most comfortable situation. There have been times, like, he kind of, like, asked me if his new girlfriend could stay over. And that was only, like, one time. But it's like, I'm not really sure. It's like, yeah, I just... Wasn't sure how that situation would work out, but I mean, the first time was okay, but I didn't want to make it so I just didn't want it to become a habit. So, yeah, May was all right. I was still, you know, working at the fast food chain, waiting to get on with my other job. Um, yeah, towards the end, um, I, hung, I hung out with Rudy and Titus. I hung out with Rudy initially along with my friend Megan, like, in January. Initially, there was, like, a couple times we hung out together in January. But, um, yeah, eventually at some point in March, Megan just said she wasn't, she didn't feel entirely comfortable being friends with me the way we were right now, just given whatever was going on with her. So we kind of had to, like, distance each other, had some distance from each other for a little bit. It's like, she just didn't feel like, and she was in a position to like be hanging out with me. If I did do anything, I it was just anything from my end that I might have did. I I really regret. I wasn't trying to discomfort her or anything. It's like she's she's really amazing and she's just really nice. And I just I wasn't looking to like do anything that might damage or destroy our friendship. Rudy, like I said, we hung out once in January, another in February, and then we hung out again, like, Memorial Day, or the week before Memorial Day, that Monday, and, yeah, at the same time, um, Titus hit me up, we kind of hung out a bit, for a little bit at his place, because he was going to go to Six Flags with this new girl he met, her name's Hadley, she's really amazing, um, she plays volleyball, and, yeah, she's just, she, yeah, she is just perfect for him, if you ask me. And then later that day, um, my buddy Jeremy and I hung out because, like, he was also one of the first, he was, like, the very first person I reunited and reconnected with when I got back. And I hung out with him a couple times throughout throughout the year. I'd go up and see him at his work, <clears throat> the coffee shop he worked at, but apparently he couldn't really work there anymore because I guess he had some issues with his car. It was just, like, falling apart and... He was without it for a while, so he, he had to quit, but... <clears throat> so, yeah, he just asked me for some gas money, and I gave it to him. But at the same time, we finally got to hang out together, like, at his place. We talked a bit, and he let me know that he actually has a kid of his own now. And, yeah, apparently he's had... The, apparently he's had the, he's had a son since, like, summer of last year, so... Yeah, it was some interesting news to say the least, but yeah, we got to hung out, we got to talk a bit, we talked about him potentially maybe staying with me for a bit. I also had to, you know, figure out what to do with Brian, because like, I mean, I just didn't want to like, 
feel like he was being replaced or Rose giving him the boot or anything, just given the situation. But if, so, yeah, I started my new job a week later. And yeah, at the same time, after my orientation, Jeremy came to stay with me for a bit because like he was staying with his parents at the time and the situation for him was just becoming unbearable. So yeah, he hit me up asking me if he could stay and yeah, he came to stay with me and he and Brian were staying with me together for a bit for like a week and it was working out for the most part. Like we played, we, um, we played Resident Evil 4 together. We finished through the bit that he hadn't gotten through. So yeah, like the second half of the game, because like I had started a second playthrough after I finished my first one initially in March. The only reason I was doing that, because like I thought I was, you know, getting my life back together within the periods I was in between jobs through then until things unfortunately fell apart again. So yeah, we played Resident Evil 4 together, we played the Burning Shores together, and I realized, I because, like, the the mic on my new PlayStation 5 controller is interesting, because, like, apparently, even without a device plugged in, it still, like, records your voice, and I may not have, you know, had that feature turned off at the time, and I might have accidentally recorded him and me, and I apologize for that. I was not meaning to, I just, I thought it was off, and I just... So yeah, if you hear me talking, me and him talking throughout like the like a couple episodes in that series, and yeah, I, that's just because like I didn't realize it was off. I, I didn't realize my the mic was on. So yeah, but yeah, we played a couple games together. We went swimming together at the pool at my complex. Um, then um, yeah, I was you know going through the motions, you know just getting used to my new job and also working at my old one for a little bit until I felt comfortable enough to fully, you know, move on with this. And fortunately I was able to, and I did so towards the end of the summer. Um, and but yeah, like after a week, um, Jeremy, the girl he had his kid with, um, yeah, she hit him up and asked him to come visit for a bit, and yeah, he decided to go ahead because he, he really needed to see his kid, so he was gone that whole weekend. Then he came back and he talked with me saying, like, she convinced him to stay, and I understood, and I just let him go. Brian, on the other hand, well, it, was, it wasn't really as... We, we didn't entirely end on a good note as I was hoping we would. Um, apparently, Jeremy let me know that he was vaping behind my back, and I told him not to do that initially because, like, A, I don't like it, and of course... Jeremy was trying to quit himself, and he was, like, over a month sober now, and it's just kind of affecting him. Plus, I think it was, like, there was something in my lease saying that that couldn't happen. So, yeah, I, after Jeremy told me, I brought, I addressed it with him, and he got upset about it, even though I was, you know, trying to be civil about the whole situation, you know, not trying to yell at him and telling him he needs to get out. I just told him, like... He just needs to follow the rules or he can't stay. But I told him I didn't want to kick him out. I just wanted every, I just wanted to make sure everything was in order. I just wanted there to be proper order in my place. But apparently that wasn't enough for him. And he just up and left after that initial text conversation. So yeah, um, June I was just the period of, you know, going through the motions, you know, getting used to my new job. Um, Eventually, after a month or so, I started, you know, dual, doing dual departments, like, working in the chef-prepared area and working, working in the packaging area. So, yeah, June was just me, just getting, just me getting used to my new job, and at the same time, I was also, like, planning my birthday, because, like, I was turning 25 this year, and... I turned 25 this year, and, you know, given that I was back, and it was kind of a milestone birthday, I wanted to try and make it, you know, as sp special as possible, but, yeah, at the same time, Titus and I were, like, talking over Snapchat, um, he was on vacation with Hadley in Galveston or S South Padre, um, somewhere along the, somewhere along the Gulf Coast, and, yeah, we were also, like, talking about maybe doing something a little bit bigger as a hangout when he got back. Like, we're planning to, like, all have a day at the lake together. Um, 
Yeah, but it was just rough because like I had to keep on it to make sure it kept happening. But yeah, so, something kept happening, and it took, took a month since we initially planned that for that to go through. Like we did have lunch at one point, but yeah, um, it took like a month or so for that plan, and it was just me and him that day. It was, but we still had a lot of fun. Yeah, there, before and then there was also like a time where me, him, Hadley, and his little sister Maven had lunch together at like a Chili's. And it was a good time. And yeah, it was just, like I said, the majority of the summer outside my plans was just, you know, me adjusting and, you know, working at my new job and also being a part of E4 Youth when I can, like on the days I was off. Cause like, like, I guess. With the way my days off were set up, uh, I could, you know, go up and do some stuff with them. Yeah, I was also hoping to try and follow up on a deal that me and the owner uh, made initially. Like, I guess he felt like I would work better if I had some incentive. So he told me if I did something creative within five days until the next meeting, um, he'd, he'd give me some money, and I did, but. And I've tried following up with him on that, but yeah, that still has yet to happen, unfortunately. So yeah, I kept going and of course kept trying to be creative and, you know, just had something to do, have some interaction throughout the summer, just talk to people and hang out with them if I could. It was mainly Sam, it was, it was mainly Ash and Sam was, a, Sam was mainly coming to the main meetings rather than the workshops we did like on Wednesdays. And yeah, and I was also, there were a couple times I also hung out with my buddy Jacob, like he invited me over to his place and like we'd watch a movie together or something, like, of course, towards the end of the summer, we also went swimming in his pool, it was pretty nice, and the water was actually warm for what it was, and it was nighttime, and what else, oh, yeah, also on Wednesdays, um, in the evenings, I would try and be a part of Cause like after I lost my job, I started going to church on Sundays where my buddy Gavin would go, as well as Bertitis would go, just to, you know, have some community. And I guess it, it kind of helped like when I was, you know, in between jobs like that, just trying to just have some form of comfort aside from, you know, binging Pokemon and all that. So, yeah, towards the end of spring, like in May, I was talking to the band about me being their sound person, and I tried to do so over the summer. It just, but yeah, it was just a lot to get going with it, and there were some things we needed to figure out, and people we needed to talk to, and it just that didn't seem to like fully click, unfortunately. <clears throat> and yeah, and during summer is when me and Gavin started having some issues. Like I invited him to my birthday party, but then like he's just straight up telling me, "Don't count on me coming," because like he, he would come in the past and he seemed okay with it and initially when I brought it up to him but it's like don't count on me coming I don't do birthdays anymore and I just I gotta accept all these changes he's throwing at me now and it was just really hard to deal with and you know I, I was trying to tell him well you're just throwing every, all these new changes at me here now like out of the blue it's just kind of hard to deal with he's like you can either mope or you can just accept things the way they are and I just it's like aside from church I didn't really get to interact with him much it seemed like the only way I could was like if I went up to you know if I went to church with him again or if I you know tried to do something for him because like there were times I'd you know give him games like for his birthday or just and there was something new coming up because like he shouted me out on his his own gaming YouTube channel, Overleveled Games, last year in December when I got into Cluster Protocol, and I did get him dead space to make up for that blunder, because apparently, yeah, I did not, it was more, it just, it was just one of those games that fell flat, unfortunately. And of course, I got him Metroid Prime, because I knew he was a Metroid fan, and Zelda Breath of the Wild, because I knew he was a huge, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, silly me. I got him Tears of the Kingdom for his birthday, because I, I knew he was a huge Zelda nut as well. Maybe it was just that month where I was, you know, climbing back up and I was just getting close to fully reascending. <laughs> and 
was just a good feeling. It's like, you know, I was in a position where I could do more with myself again rather than just, you know, be at home or gutty for just, you know, stay and bend some anime. But yeah, I finally got past that point and I was doing more stuff and I was, like I said, we were going to church together and, um, yeah, Tyson and I were still hanging out, having breakfast or lunch together and with Gavin and trying to do stuff with him at church. But apparently, yeah, we just started having some problems this year, like you know, all these new expectations and boundaries he had for our friendship. Like him saying not to count on him for stuff like that was one of them. Another was like kind of a small one, but it's still a bit frustrating nonetheless because like he he has a, a huge thing against spoilers like some of the things we both like that we talk about and when like Final Fantasy 16 which came out earlier this year when <clears throat> like when when I was playing it and I was talking about it apparently he was getting upset with some of the stuff I was you know talking about or mentioning because like he strictly stayed away from the trailers and everything. I, I forgot like how strict he was with like an accident. There's things I would accidentally spoil for him. Like he'd get upset with me and he even threatened to ban me from his his Discord server because I accidentally spoiled a certain character from him. And I, I apologize. I wasn't meaning to. I just thought we both knew about that. I thought like we were both watching the trailers. Like trailers aren't all trailers don't really have a whole lot of spoilers to be honest. And there were some things I might have seen, like Typhon, and I might have mentioned that to him, and apparently he got upset about it, and there was, like, things like me comparing it to Attack on Titan and the Titan Shifters. Me comparing the icons to the Titan Shifters, and apparently he told me not to talk about that, because, like, I was spoiling Attack on Titan for him, even though he didn't really seem all that much interested in what was happening with it at the time. And, like, and then even when I try to be vague, somehow I would spoil him, like, what would happen. And he's like, okay, I'm not talking anymore. And he'd just storm off. And it was just really annoying. I mean, I did feel bad. I was trying to, like, respect his wishes to the best of my abilities. It just wasn't easy. And then, yeah, he apparently he talked to his wife about my birthday. And apparently she convinced him to plan to try and go. And, you know, I just had to, you know try and make sure that was still the case every week or every couple of weeks. I mean, I wasn't, you know, trying to annoy the heck out of him, or I wasn't trying to, like, give him regular messages. Or just, I, just, I wasn't trying to regularly bug him about it. I was just trying to make sure, because, like, there were times, like, if I didn't, I wouldn't hear back from people, and I never really got an answer, and I just didn't want to be left hanging on that, like I normally was, because, like, that's kind of been a major issue for me this year. It's like, I get people are busy, and I get they have their own lives. I do, too, and... I want to respect their space and boundaries if possible, but it's like, I don't really know what's going on without communication. And since we were, you know, still friends, I thought that was okay. I thought, you know, me just asking and making sure our plans are still solid and if we could still hang out initially from what the expectations that I had from what we talked about before, I was okay. Just to still make sure, just like check in on that. I wasn't trying to do it too much or too often. I did like... There were times I did feel like I was with some of my friends, like Cameron, Titus, and even Gavin. Because, like, I didn't want to bug the heck out of him. I just wanted to make sure, like, it wasn't just a one-way street. And we were, like, making sure, like, our plans were actually going to happen. And it's, like, sometimes I wouldn't really hear back from him on that. And I just had to regularly check in sometimes. And, like I said, I wasn't trying to bug them. It's just, there were times, like, because, like, Gavin just wasn't really all that dependable, you know, see when we started becoming friends more when I started going to church with him way back when. It's like, I invited him to my graduation and stuff, but he never really came. I just felt like if I didn't, you know, check in about that, you know, just given how things were and the fact that I could barely anything like that could happen on his end, I just wanted to make sure if I checked, if I, I just wanted to try harder and make sure, it's like, I know stuff, it's like, those people aren't really going to have the same dependability. It's like, I try and be as dependable to, to my friends as I possibly can be, but others might not to be. I'm not, I'm not trying to bash them. It's just, some people are just different in regards to that. And sometimes I just have to like, make sure that things 
it's gonna happen. Like sometimes I'm, I have to be the one to make sure our plans are still gonna happen, or what we plan or what they say. It's like, there have been times like Gavin's let me down and others have as well, but I haven't really had to, but I haven't, I've tr I haven't tried, I haven't really made a, that big a deal about it, but I mean, there are only so many times that can happen to where it starts to become a bit of an issue for you, you know? You guys know what I'm saying, right? I'm not, and I'm not trying to go in circles about this. But yeah, because of that, we started having some issues and it just... Yeah, it all came to a head later on. Like, so... It, yeah, July, my life seemed about peak at that point. Everything seems to have, you know, fully clicked and I've fallen back into place with my life. And I was just, you know, waiting for my birthday to come up because it was like in August next month. Um, yeah, unfortunately things with my party didn't initially go as I, I planned, like only Titus it came and Gavin and his wife Nicole came as well as their kids and um, my buddy Anthony, whom I also knew from high school, came as well and that was just about it. it wasn't, practically everyone else gave me a, a no within the first couple of weeks. They, they, a lot of people like told me no, they wouldn't be able to make it within like a couple of weeks out out of it, and or just early on, it just kind of sucked. And um, yeah, and of course later that day, me and Rudy did go swimming at my at the pool at my complex, but yeah, that was just about it. Not a whole lot really happened as I thought it would. Which, like I said, it sucked given like it was like the last milestone birthday I have for right now, me turning twenty five. And, yeah, I just, that was the one thing I didn't want to fall apart, and, yeah, it, it probably hurt, because, like, I was really looking forward to something good, something big happening with this one, after all I, you know, been through, and all I'd done for myself, getting my life together, and being able to come back and be with everyone. Yeah, and there was even one of my friends apparently just completely ignored it. He's just like, hey, go check out my podcast. And I kind of laid into him for that because, like, I, I didn't think he'd, like, I understand you not saying, I understand you saying you won't be able to go, but it's another thing to completely, like, ignore that day. It just, and it just really paved me off. It's like, yeah, and there were some other people I didn't hear from, and I was just hoping to. It's like, completely alone on my actual birthday, and I had to work. And yeah, of course, my family and my friends, you know, messaged me, but just given what it was, I was just hoping for something a little bit more with it. And but yeah, at the same time, I also reconnected and reunited with a couple other friends of mine, like. Um, my, my friend Bailey, whom I was able to actually see at church again, like, at the church at the school I went to, um, yeah, I was able to actually see her and her husband, Alan, again in person for the first time, like, earlier in April. And same, actually, March, a couple of friends of mine, Christy and David, who are also married, and who also went to church with me. Um, they came down to visit from New York in March, which was a bit of a highlight when I was, you know, going through a ringer at the time, you know, being in between jobs. But yeah, in August, um, I actually reunited with another old friend of mine from high school, uh, Neil. Um, we had gen class together along with Jeremy and three others. It was like, it's our little um, personal Sinister Six. But yeah, we... We reconnected and reunited for the first time in August, and it was a good time. It was like the day before my birthday, and yeah, we ate, we ate out together at Red Robins, and yeah. And at the same time, um, church was starting to kick back in the gear now that the new school semester was starting at the school where that church, the church where my school's located. So yeah, because school was starting again, that church was starting up again, and we had a couple events in the summer. Um, like, we had, like, a welcome back dinner, and 
we also got to go to the creek together. So yeah, I reconnected with all the new friends I made there. Preston, um, another Gavin, not Gavin, my best friend. I, I know like three different Gavins. There's, um, of course, Gavin, my best friend, or I guess one of my best friend. Um, there's um, Gav a Gavin I knew in high school who was a part of our gym group. And then there's another Gavin that I met um, like at some point this year. Um, at the church, at at the church for my school, the, the college church. Sorry, my, my mind's just. So yeah, we um, so yeah, there was that Gavin. There was Preston, whom I met earlier this year as well. We, it's kind of like a rival to me as well, cause like when we hang out, we also like do stuff together, like we play chess or pool and. I won one time when I first initially met him, but ever since then, he's just kicked my butt every single time, and I've just been looking to break my losing streak with him. But yeah. So, yeah, and he's probably one of my best friends there at that church, Preston. And then there's a couple others I connected more with, like Aiden, Leo, Abiel, Brandon, Dylan, who are also, who are part of, uh, yeah, Dylan was a guy I went to church with at the college church when I was still in school initially, but he, uh, he was also a part of men's life group that I was starting to be a part of um, this semester and next. Uh, like, when the new year starts, we're planning to, like, have a life group here at my new place, but more on that later. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, we all went to the creek together me and my church friends, and I told them about my birthday, and they all sang to me, and I was really appreciative of that. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Colin! Happy birthday to you! Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate that. And that kind of also, at the same time, led to some more issues between me and Gavin, because, like, I... I he told me, like, if there was anything he could do, especially he could do for my birthday, just let him know. And I told him, like, it'd be nice if you guys could, like, all sing to me like you did before when you were first doing stuff for me on my birthdays, like, way back when, in 2016. Like, when you got everyone to, at the church to sing to me, if you you could, you and the band could do that, that I'd appreciate that. And, like, when I double-checked with him on that, when I was getting closer to the time of my birthday, um, he's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm like, why not? I'm like, sorry, man, it's just not happening. And... After my church friends did, I brought this up with him, and I'm like, you can do this for me, why? And they're like, are you seriously going to make an issue about me not singing a song to you? I'm like, come on, grow up. I'm like, no, I just want you to follow through with... I just want you to be a more dependable friend. And of course, given that it's my birthday and my 25th, it kind of means a big deal to me, you know? I mean, it's not just... like That's just a little kid song. That's all these people in your family do for you. I mean, there were many, I've seen many examples since that day, like, like proof otherwise that I could tell them about, but it is what it is. I mean, I, could, I probably could have, you know, approached things better on my end, and I did, you know, try to make up with him on that. I probably could have approached it in a much better, less somewhat aggressive fashion. But I was just, I was just, the way he was being to me, and the fact that he just wasn't really being all that good of a friend to me, I just making me more and more frustrated. And yeah, some of the others started thinking like he was the only reason I was going to that church, but which was not true. I'd also, you know, come to grow and be a part of the community. I started to enjoy going to that church and doing stuff with them. And I try to, you know, make, I try to make sure you're not the main focus. Cause like, I'm also there to be at that church and, you know, have something for my, have something, have some communion with God on Sundays just enjoy the environment, I enjoy the community, I enjoy the people. But, yeah, and he, even he said, even Gavin said, like, he felt like, I, he felt like he was the reason I was only, he felt like he was the only reason I was going to that church, which was not true, and he started feeling creeped out by me and everything, like, it's like, I'm just waiting for him so I could talk to him and all that, but... I don't, even if that was the case, I don't see what, it, it's like, I don't see entirely seeing that being a big deal, because, um, I was just, you know, of course,
course, there are people I, you know, socialize with, but I mean, he's like my best friend. So, and of course, you talk to the same people every time. So I don't see any problem with me talking to you all that way. I don't, I don't see any, me, I don't see any problem with me talking to you when I can as well. Cause like church was like one of the very few times I got to see you. And it was the only time I could ever really see you. And the fact that I couldn't really see anyone else, well, just, you guys know what I mean, right? So, yeah, anywho, it just got to a point where we decided to take a break, and, yeah, just the fact, like, I had some, I, it was hard for me to, like, fully describe my mind of things, where I was coming from, just given my whole mental standing, it's like, sometimes it's just not easy for me to communicate things, and sometimes I accidentally go in loops when I don't mean to, and I just felt really bad. I wasn't trying to like, bug him or give him unnecessary, unnecessary drama in his life like he was saying I was. I just, it just wasn't easy, you know? So, yeah, when in September, it was just a pattern of me, you know, working and of course going to the life groups on Wednesdays just have some interaction, hang, hang out and be with my friends. Um, at the same time, I was suffering from some serious insomnia. It's like, like this year, um, my dad's um, genetics regarding allergies finally kicked in for me and I started having sinus infections like he does. Like they started happening earlier this year and they just come and go and I was having one in August and excuse me. And yeah, so I started taking some medicine and it gave me some serious insomnia throughout September and I had to like take some sleep aids to try and help me get some proper sleep. I, I'm, help me have a regular pattern again. And yeah, I was also having some issues with the place I was currently staying at because like back in July, um, I noticed some evidence of something getting into my groceries. I was hoping it was just like a roach or something that, you know, because, like, I found one of my bananas, one of the bottoms of them, just completely eaten out. And then, the next day, something got into my bread. And I was like, yeah, this is not a bug. This is, like, a rodent of sorts. So, I brought it up with pest control and had to keep on them about it. And, yeah, they just laid some traps around with some peanut butter. I even got some myself. And I actually caught it. It's a huge rat. There was this huge rat just caught in one of my mouse traps. I should have used a rat trap. I just, but apparently I used mouse traps because I, I didn't think there was like a huge difference. But so yeah, I was able to catch one and yeah, they, I made sure they knew about it and it was a huge issue. And I felt like if I was going to be dealing with this and the fact that I wasn't living in that good of a neighborhood, um, I, I might as well, you know, just find somewhere else. And there were, you know, places in the north part of the city that were cheaper and actually nicer than that, this area. So, towards the end of the year, I decided to make it my mission to move, which I did. So, I moved from my old place to a new place, which I am coming to you live right now from. But, um, so, yeah. In October, it's just about business as usual. Because, like, at the same time, um, right around my birthday when Titus hung out with me, he informed me that he was actually going to, he was definitely going to be moving up to where Hadley was, and he's going to be with her and go to school there, and yeah, we're a couple days out from the end of the year when he's supposed to move, so I think it's going to be like right at the start of January, but yeah, within the next couple days he'll be gone, which, so initially within September, we, um, we decided to try and make the most of our time, and we planned a couple more hangouts in October, like, we had breakfast together again at Kirby Lane like we did before, and then we, then he and his buddy Joel came over to my place towards Halloween to watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie with me, and we also played Spider-Man 2 together when I got it, and he gave me a gift card to get it, so I got that game because of him, and huge shout out to you, buddy, for doing that, I love you. But at the same time, it just wasn't all to my liking because, like, they were, because the game itself, I mean, the gameplay was really good. I enjoyed the black suit, and I enjoyed Miles' powers, and I enjoyed Venom. It was really well done, but 
at the same time, they were like forcing things down my throat that I didn't really need. And so, yeah, it was like first chance I got, I actually um, traded that game in. Uh, so, yeah, I like traded it in yesterday and I actually put the credit I got. It, it's like it gave me enough credit to pay off like almost two thirds or over half of um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that didn't entirely go to waste. But yeah, at the same time, he also got me, like, a piece of art with Spider-Man and Venom on it. But yeah, so, we hung out one last time on the 28th. Um, we watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie together. We played Spider-Man 2 together. We had a good time doing that. And yeah, as soon as he left, I just fell into a deep depression. I mean, that was, like, the last time I was going to see him. And we still had, it was still early on, or a couple months out before he moved. And I just... It just sucked knowing that he was still here and I couldn't really hang out with him. And I just, it was just really depressing because, like, like I said, he's been one of my best friends. Like, he's been there. He's been one of the very few who's actually been there for me. And so yeah, it took a little bit throughout November to fully grow out of that slump. Um, yeah, when November started, I just decided to go ahead and just end things with Gavin and. So we're no longer friends, unfortunately. I just felt like it was probably gonna end things with me at some point. Or just felt like it probably wouldn't be best for us to be friends anymore. So I just decided to go ahead and just end things. And you know, just given how things were between us, I just didn't feel like we would, we could keep going, unfortunately. And yeah, but I mean, I'm still willing to be civil with him and all that. It's like, even though we can't really be friends, I'm sure we could still, you know, interact some way. Still need to, you know what? Um, I was probably not something I should, yeah, personal. Like, um, anywho, uh, so yeah, November it just took a little bit to you know fully get out of my depression. Um, I don't think I initially did until like Thanksgiving, but yeah, there were some things that helped along the way. Like, um, I met someone else whom I connected with more on Instagram, someone I knew of like back then. Um, like another one of Titus's friends from church, or someone I might have known from his church when we went to camp together. Uh, Chris, like Joel's brother, it's kind of so. Yeah, the, those two are brothers, and I kind of met them online, or re-met them online in a sense. And yeah, we like Titus. We met in person at some point. Titus, I met last year, but then I met this year. Finally, and we got to hang out and for a little bit, and yeah, but yeah, like I said, I didn't really get out of my depression until um, Thanksgiving rolled around. I mean, was, at the same time, like things were changing up at work, like management was splitting up, and like things changed up with like my dual departments. Like I had to go back to the one I was working at initially, but. It's it's still things are still going good there and I enjoy working there and I enjoy the people and but yeah things just changed up to where like my whole situation there changed up a bit and like my days off were no longer fixed aside from Wednesday and it's like I was only working in one department again now rather than two and yeah. we also had some new hires a couple of them I trained uh yeah, but then, yeah, the the holidays there rolled around, and yeah, of course things got busy, but it was nothing we couldn't handle, and um, we also, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving rolled around, I had two days off back-to-back -to -back together, it was Wednesday and Thursday, so I got to go up to Waco and be with my aunt and my family again, as per tradition, now that I'm back. And I got to see my cousins, Katie and Ian, who are big fans of mine that I hadn't seen in a while. It's amazing how my relatives hold me in such a high regard, really. <laughs> and so, yeah, I got to see them again. And I got to see um, my new cousin, Orion, again. And my mom and stepdad came up to see me. And that's what really helped pull me out of my depression. They were there to see me and be with me. As well as um, help me move, which was happening like a week or so later. So yeah, they were there for like a whole week. Um, we had a good time together. We got to see each other for Thanksgiving and we got to do a couple things throughout the week that they were up there. Like 
my mom helped me move and I stayed with her a bit and we, you know, talked. But unfortunately, that wasn't things were our experience kind of had a damper put on it because, like, well, um, my aunt who lives in Texarkana, um, she came to visit us as well and, um, she, she got COVID and we had a COVID scare because, like, she was around all my relatives and my family and my mom was around me. She was around my mom and my mom was around me and so, yeah, we just had a huge COVID scare, but apparently, like, <clears throat> Given the fact that no one got sick, I didn't get sick. My parents didn't get my parents didn't get sick. None of my family got sick aside from her. She believes it wasn't really her her in laws up in Texarkana, but someone like she might have bumped into at a gas station on our way back home. So yeah, really dodged a bullet there. But yeah, we still had a good time. Um, I stayed with my mom in the condo they were staying at. Um, there was also a couple other issues that we were having, like my stepdad, the stress of the trip, given his physical health, um, he kind of had a heart attack because of it. He, he's doing okay. He's still here, fortunately. And at the same time, he had the pneumonia that came after it, like when they head back. And But yeah, he and my mom are home safe now, which is really, really good. Um, my mom's birthday rolled around, and that was the day I was moving in. She helped me, and Cameron helped me. I hired him from the moving company he was working at. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. And she helped me get settled to the best of my abilities. We also celebrated her birthday later that night. We went, went around, watched some, we went around, looked at some Christmas lights. Uh, of course, the experience could have been a little bit more enjoyable because, like, they were having these stupid arguments over gelato and where Maggiano's was and just, yeah, it could have been... It really could have been a little better, to be honest, but, I mean, we all ended on a good note, which is good, and I'm glad that they made it home safe, and I'm glad I got to see them and spend time with them. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's something else I'm missing. Of course, there were other things happening, like, I did hang out with Jacob a couple more times, like, I... It's, I still went over to his place and we played games together. I even helped him beat Bramble the Mountain King, a new Little Nightmares like Andy that came out earlier this year. I'll probably start a series on it later on um, next year as well. Uh, well, there was also, well, um, it didn't really happen with me necessarily. It was happening over where my parents were living. Um, our other bunny, Java, passed away earlier this year as well, like around February, like 13 months after we lost Mocha last year and once again we got another new bunny his name was espresso well actually we got two more new bunnies um espresso and vanilla bean the second <laughs> so yeah now we have three bunnies one black one white and one gray got ourselves a nice little tau trio there but yeah apparently the most recent one vanilla bean is the best of the bunch i mean just in terms of personality he's i mean he's most well behaved he's Kind, he's sweet. Espresso from what I've gathered, even though he's cute and all, he's a little bit more rambunctious. Chai's always been rambunctious. And yeah, it just... Those are my bunnies for ya. I think that's just about it. Um, this month, December, um, it's just me. It's just been me getting settled into my new place. Uh, there are a lot of things in that needed some maintenance, like, one of which was my laundry closet on my balcony, like, the door wouldn't open, and there was, like, mildew growing inside of it, and my bedroom needed a ceiling fan that actually worked, and the disposal under my sink needed to be replaced, and my bathroom needed to be redone, it's like, it was completely water damaged, um, but yeah, the people here, the, the management here is really good, and they got it all taken care of, and hopefully we won't have any issues in the near future, it's just, for me, just for me getting settled in, and unfortunately this year I had to spend Christmas alone. Um, yeah, my that visit from my parents was like the only time I could see them. I was like, I couldn't really fly out to see them this time. Just like given my move, and there were some other unexpected finances I had to take in care that I had to take care of that kind of drained me a little bit. But, um, so yeah, that's just basically been that month in a nutshell and basically that's been 2023 for me in a nutshell um yeah it's been a pretty rough year but we have had some good moments which is good 
uh, yeah, and I know that what was going on with me in some areas, like, I guess, given my new job and, you know, trying to find a new job, it kind of led to some content droughts in a couple months, like April and November up to this point. Um, yeah, I was like, after I finished Spider-Man 2, I just decided to go ahead and try and focus on, you know, getting ready for the end of the year, try and save anything else for next, because, like, I mean, of course, there are a couple of big releases, but at the same time, there aren't really too many things we should. And of course, there's some things I could, you know, still cover, there's minor things I could, you know, go and do. So I just, since we're nearing the end, um, I'm just going to try and save that for next. And yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, get this out there, let y'all know what's been going on with me. And I apologize for the content droughts and not, you know, uploading as much. I know I was more avid with my channel, like, in times last year, like, before I moved, but after I moved back, I just given my new life and everything, I just haven't really had a whole lot of time and energy like I used to, but I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna keep going with the channel. Um, also, at the same time, I was thinking of some changes as well, like, I guess maybe making a couple others, some, some minor ones, like, branching off, like, like, make a channel for, like, all my music content and, like, move it over there and, you know, just post on that, the, the music and stuff I make, the music and sound stuff I make, and, um, also maybe do one for like my reactions to like short films and animations like I used to. I know I haven't really done anything like that this year. I've just almost completely forgotten the reactions. So yeah, hopefully next year I'll bring them back and I'll do so on my new channel and just find the time and energy to do them again. And I already have some things planned, especially with earlier the next year. I hope next year is somewhat better in the rest of my own life, and I hope nothing majorly negative happens. Like, I've just been through enough this year, and I know we're looking at some potential rough stuff next year. Like, I guess with some things could happen, you know, just given what's going on in the world right now. With I'm not sure if you guys have watched the news about like what's going on in some areas, but um, hopefully nothing majorly negative happens and hopefully things will start getting better at some point next year and well things will start looking up for all of us again and yeah but like I said there are a couple things that I can definitely see because like one of them which is my aunt that I mentioned from Texarkana I think at the start of this sort of next year at some point next month or hope maybe the next after um I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go up and see her for like a week. I'm gonna use the vacation time I've accumulated so far to go and like visit with her and be with her and spend as much time with her as possible because I learned last month um, like she has cancer. Um, she's gonna get chemotherapy, but you know, like, given the fact that she's lived with like multiple sclerosis for like 15 years and her health just isn't all that good. And like everyone's been telling me she's probably not gonna make it through the spring and they just don't see anything positive outcome of it towards the end so yeah I'm gonna go see her and hopefully next year yeah me and my friends will start being able to hang out a little bit more I know me and my life group are gonna have like a session over here at some point and um yeah in terms of new year's resolutions uh given that my new place has like an, a more full-on gym it has more equipment rather than a, it being a hallway full of exercise bikes like it was at my old place i'm gonna start working out a little bit more uh i'm probably gonna you know try and make one to do better for my friends because like even though i might have had you know proper reasoning to you know with what i talked about you know trying to stay in communication with my friends i feel like maybe at some point i wasn't entirely the best for them like Cameron, Titus, and to some degree Gavin. I just feel like some where I'm like, with something I've been doing, you know, just trying to keep in touch with them or stay in contact with them. Like, who knows? I might have just put too much pressure on them. And guys, if you're watching this, I do sincerely apologize for that, really. I wasn't trying to put so much pressure on y'all and make y'all feel forced to hang out with me all the time. I, I wasn't the. I wasn't really my intentions, I just felt like if I, you know, didn't reach out or if I didn't, you know, keep in communication with you guys, then I just, we just drift apart. It's like, 
communication is a key thing to maintaining relationships and friendships like that. So, yeah, but if I have done anything, if I have somehow pressured y'all too much or if I've just been on y'all too much, I apologize for that and I promise to do better next year. And, um, yeah, I'll just I'll keep at it. Maybe I'll, you know, keep doing more stuff regarding my creative field. Maybe find something like more for a career for myself. Finally, hopefully, because like it's been really hard since I got out of school to find like something regarding my field. But I enjoy the work I do now, really. I just, of course, you know, it's like people say you just don't want to be stuck in something like that for the rest of your life if you have the opportunity not to be. So, yeah. Um, and I guess I, might have, I was also another change with my channel, a couple other changes with my channel um, here. I was hoping to maybe like start, you know, making videos with my face evolved rather than just my voice through my playthroughs. Um, Dennis said he was going to get me a camera, uh, not a, a camera, a, a, a camera for my PlayStation 5. <sighs> he was going to get me a camera for my PlayStation 5, so I could, you know, do that. And I was also thinking about maybe trying to also stream a bit more because like that seems to be the hot topic of, you know, internet entertainment nowadays for the most part with some. Wondering like how you, how y'all would feel with me doing that, uh, aside from you know just doing regular playthroughs. I know because with how my PlayStation Five set up and you know given my schedule right now, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to get things fully organized. And so yeah, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope y'all enjoyed. I thank you for listening to me ramble for like over an hour about everything that's been happening this year. And I like I said, I apologize for the content drafts in some areas and. I hope y'all understand what's been going on. I appreciate y'all, you know, being there for me still, despite the content droughts. And I really appreciate the support y'all have given me. And yeah, so I'll be sure to have this video up as soon as possible. Then hopefully maybe later today or tomorrow. And as for part two regarding my, um, my regular recap with all the games and stuff I've played, uh, it might come a little later. It might not necessarily be like right at the end of this year, but maybe early start of next. I'm hoping to at least. I, it's, I got like everything edited together, but I still got like get my commentary and everything in it. Still need work and you know, it's given like my schedule right now, it just hasn't been easy to sit down and do that entirely. Just, you know, do that on a regular basis as much as I hope. I was hoping to get everything done, but yeah, it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a slog for me, so, yeah, I'll have this up, and hopefully the other one will sh follow shortly after, and with that said, out of the way, I hope you all enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace out, and Happy New Year.